Hello, life is different on my YouTube channel now. I've had a haircut and I'm doing a vlog. Usually I've got a point to my videos, I talk about a certain thing or I do a certain thing. This one doesn't have a point, I'm basically just going to talk about my life. It's the summer holidays, which usually for me means nothing, it's just like kids are off. But for me, it's actually been a bit of a summer holiday. I finished work just at the start of August and I start working again at the start of September. So it's actually like I've had a holiday, like I'm at school. I've had like three weeks off, even though I have been working in the restaurant. I've kind of been off work, so it's been really weird. It's been like I'm actually having a summer holiday. I have my sister for a a little while and um, my 14 year old sister called Grace you might have seen her on previous videos or you just might know about her if you know me and know my life you know she's a pretty important person in that life um, I had her for a week we went to do loads of fun things I pretty much failed to record a single one of those fun things and mainly just recorded her while we were doing menial things so here's the best of those Jake, what are you doing? Hi. Grace has just drunk these beers. She smoked all those. He's an Irish man. He's homeless and stuff, but he tells jokes and then he wants money for them. <laughs> oh shit, Jake. Don't, Jake. <laughs> Is he coming? <laughs> He's gonna do it. Grace, actually, I'm being really serious. Can you stop being a flip flop, please? Sorry, Jake. No, I'm not even joking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Grace have come to the wildlife garden. <laughs> uh, out of all the museum, out of all that place there, all of this, we decided to come out. Jake decided to come out to the wildlife garden <laughs> to just see all this. <laughs> Look at the nice wildlife garden. Why wouldn't you want to come here? A drink. <laughs> what the fuck's happened? You went in to get a hot dog and now you've come out with a whole meal. Mind your ways with Hiya, Kath. You're jealous that you're not my sister, aren't you? Imagine spending that exciting week with me. Oh, we had a great time. I haven't just been spending all the time with my sister. I did go home and spend a lovely day with my dad, who I hadn't seen for a while, and spent a whole nice day chatting with him and chatting with my sisters on that side of the family and having a nice time with Naomi, just having a nice time in general, having a nice time. I also got to see my friends, who I absolutely love and don't see enough of, which is just incredibly sad because I'm the only one up in London. The rest of them are down in Kent, mate. So I got to see Chloe dance, I got to see Lucy Braff, I got to see Sally Kirkbags, and I got to see Holly and Rob, but who cares about those two pricks? My YouTube channel isn't really a place where I like to air my musical opinions but I would just like to say that the Vaccine's new album Come of Age is really good and you should download it and listen to it because they're really good. I also finally found time to send a package to my friend James Fowler in Australia and he got it and sent a YouTube video over of him opening it which was amazing and hilarious because he's just really funny on camera, he really hates it, you can just tell it's hilarious. Australian government opened the package to check what was in it. Australia are so mental, they won't let humans in but they won't even let a package in, they don't trust anything. The one he sent to me, absolutely fine. The Britain's just like, yeah, just bring that in. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, mate. Whatever's in there, we'll have that. It's fine, mate. But it's Australia. Not happy at all. Opened it up, had a look in. They didn't take anything out, um, but they had a right good rummage through. Either very nosy or overly cautious Australia. Now, come on. Although I suppose if you lived in a country that was full of hidden creatures that can kill you, you might be overcautious as well. I learned a bit more about teenage girls as well because my sister's 
now a teenage girl, she's 14, which is proper teenage girl time, isn't it? And they're awful. Don't get me wrong, I love my sister. Just the way she acts kind of makes me feel really sad for the generation because I love her so much and I, it's genuinely affecting me now. Before, I felt that teenagers were being used and being turned into something that wasn't that great, but I didn't care. Now my sister's becoming one and I care. I'm really sad about it and I, I really love her so much and I don't want her to become another sheep of society and it's just happening and it's completely impossible to change because they won't listen to you. It's so frustrating. I'm so desperate for her to be her own person and her own individual brilliant amazing spirit and I know she will become that but for these few years until she's about 18 or 19 she's just gonna be pretty frustrating as a human. <laughs> So that's about it from me. Thanks for watching my vlog. I hope it was entertaining for you. Thanks for watching, and I promise on the next video I'll do some work. Cheers, bye! Yes, that's right. I do have a large glass jar with Brendan Brady's face stuck to it.